Hi. I finished another from the book along list, uh, Study in Obedience by Sarah Bernstein. Um, a very short novel. Uh, it's not even 200 pages. Um, and this one sort of kept me on my toes. Um, <coughs> and I think that this is going to be one that divides opinion. Her narrator, um, she's unnamed throughout, and it's her story. She journeys north to be almost a housekeeper for her brother, whose wife and children have left him. She travels north to a place that it's never named. And it's a place where she is an outsider. She can't even speak the language. She tries to learn the language, but fails. And she becomes ostracized by the townspeople. The writing, I had to keep sort of looking back, I had to keep stopping because at times the writing made me think that we are in a much older time. Um, in the time of wise women, of witches, of midwives, these, these women long ago who were feared by their communities and revered by them. <clears throat> and you get the feel that this is the sort of time you're in and then you're brought back with mentions of social media, of Wi-Fi. So it's, it's in a very strange place where she is. And you, I almost felt at times that I was reading about another world. She's not a narrator that I found it easy to have any feelings for. Um, all her life, she's been in a study for obedience, I suppose. She's been the family servant. She's done everything for her family. And now she is with her brother she does everything for her brother she even baths him this is her eldest brother hers is an existence where she has always been inferior and now in this town of strangers that inferiority this feeling of otherness is even heightened. She tries to ingratiate herself with the people by making little tokens that she um, leaves around. Um, but she's regarded as different and you think that, you know, in a town where you are considered a stranger, where you're considered an outsider, leaving these little tokens around Going back years and years and years, these tokens would be signs of, of witchcraft, especially as in the town, strange things are happening to the animals. Um, it's a book that's got me in two minds. Um, you can admire the writing, you can admire the feel of it, the feeling that you're reading it with a sense of dread, you're not sure what's going to be happening. But the narrator, I didn't have any feelings for at all. Um, as I said right at the beginning of this, I think this is going to be a book that very much divides opinion. Um, I'm in two minds about it, totally. Um, so that's Study for Obedience by Sarah Bernstein, another one I can cross off the book along list. list. So happy reading. Take care.